it is. Now it's recording. Okay. Then it, it blinks as it goes. It's okay. Okay, this was the three-quarter horse uh, Dayton permanent magnet motor. It's a variable speed uh, to 1,800 RPM. And this was used to run this device, this capacitive generator here. And this generator has two inputs. Uh, one feeds a series of three plates that are on half of these wheels, this drum. And there's a plate inside and outside on this, uh, either side of this plate. And there's a secondary plate over here. So one of these plates is charged positive, one negative, and then we have a rod that runs down through inside to connect all of the plates from this side of this wheel. And if you look at the end here, kind of, you can see there's two plates in this wheel. And they've been balanced and, and uh, sealed in fiberglass. And the second plate comes to this second one by another rod. You can see here the rod's connected in all of this plastic. And then if you look on the other end, there's a rod for the discs on the other side that goes through to connect these other plates for the plastic on the other side. The shaft is plastic, acrylic plastic, so, and this machine broke when it stalled. Um, it broke the shaft right here. These were the two output leads that came from this device. They're both high tension 50,000 volt wire, and as it ran, uh, if, as long as the charge was allowed to flow, it ran with virtually no effort. However, as soon as the charge could not flow at 50,000 volts to the machine, this machine would lock up and would stall that three-quarter horse motor. And it's truly remarkable to see. There are some things about this machine, though, that I would not build again this way because... Although these plates are fully meshing over the other two plates all the time, and there's very little air, uh, gap between them all the time, I would not do it this way. I would do it more in the three-plate capacitor configuration where plates could be multiplied up and charges could be replicated for their motion rather than single use of charge, although this is a good system. Hope you appreciate what I've done here. Thank you very much.